Two days after the assault weapons bill died in Congress, Vice President Biden pledged that he and the president won't rest until it becomes law. He met in New York City Hall today with Mayor Michael Bloomberg, a leading gun control advocate, and with parents who lost children in the Newtown massacre, including Neil Heslin. Heslin said, I'm really ashamed to see that Congress does not have the guts to put a ban on these types of weapons. Heslin's son, Jesse Lewis, was one of the 21st graders killed by Adam Lanza. Emily Parker was another. Nora O'Donnell, the co-host of CBS This Morning, talked to Emily's parents about their attempts to find out what drove Lanza to kill. Nora? You know, Bob, Robbie and Alyssa Parker were one of the first families to speak publicly about their loss in the days after the tragedy in Newtown. Well, yesterday they told us about another first, a meeting they had with Adam Lanza's father, Peter Lanza, one of the only people who could offer insight into his son and the tragic events of December 14th. So what did you want to say to him? The best way to put it was I wanted to tell him that there was a lot of hope and opportunity to gain from this that he held the keys to because there were there was information and things to be learned from what happened and without his cooperation it would go nowhere what do you mean he held the keys to this meaning that he had the most information about his medical history, um, the things that he'd gone through. And who that, he was. And who he was, and he had the ability to release that information to the people who it needed to be released to in order to gain as much that we could in, in the situation. Nora, did you, did you get the feeling that it helped these people to meet with this man. I'm not sure I could have done this. Yes, I d they say that it gave them some closure. They say that Adam Lanza's father, Peter, does not have all the answers as to why his son would kill 20 first graders, but they believe he is searching for those answers and that he may share them at some point. Interestingly, they're not angry at him. They're trying to get something more out of this whole thing. And one of the messages that they, they have, too, is the overwhelming kindness from Americans. Bob, they have gotten more than a thousand letters from people just reaching out, average Americans, to just say, we're with you. Well, thank you very much, Nora. Uh, by the way, you can see more of Nora's interview with Emily Parker's parents first thing tomorrow on CBS This Morning.